Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's recipe is my favorite chickpea dip, sprouted hummus. I got a lot of requests for raw hummus, so in this video I'm gonna make both raw and cooked sprouted hummus. The main ingredient in this recipe are chickpeas. I'm using dried chickpeas because I'm gonna be sprouting them, but feel free to use canned chickpeas if you're not into sprouting. I have written an entire article about sprouting on my blog, so I'm not going to go into details about sprouting in this video, I'll have a link to the article in the description box below if you're interested. But essentially, you want to soak the chickpeas for at least 8 hours first. Then drain the soaking liquid, rinse the chickpeas under cold running water and then cover them with a piece of cheesecloth. I decided to leave the chickpeas in the strainer just because I find that it's easier to rinse the chickpeas and also the water drains beautifully so you can be sure that your chickpeas don't turn moldy during sprouting. Rinse the chickpeas twice a day for about 3-4 to four days or until the tail is at least as long as the seed itself. One more important thing about sprouting, make sure all your equipment is sterilized so you don't introduce any bad bacteria. Once your sprouts are ready, you have two options. You can use the raw sprouted chickpeas or you can add the sprouted chickpeas into a medium saucepan, cover them with water and cook them until tender. The trick to cooking chickpeas for hummus is to add a little bit of baking soda to the cooking liquid. The baking soda raises the pH of the water and helps the chickpeas break down to a soft mass. Regardless of whether you're using raw or cooked sprouted chickpeas, the following ingredients are identical for both recipes. A little bit of tahini, a clove of garlic, lemon juice, cumin powder, salt and olive oil. If you have ever had store-bought hummus, you have probably noticed that it's really smooth. If you love your hummus smooth, it's worth taking the time to pinch off the skins from each chickpea. The skins should slip right off. To be honest, I usually just remove the skins that are already loose, but I do notice the difference when I take the time to remove all the skins. Process all the ingredients, occasionally scraping down the sides, until the hummus is smooth. If it's too thick, feel free to add a few tablespoons of the chickpea cooking liquid or water if you're making raw hummus to get the hummus to the consistency you want. Now, a food processor is great to start with, but a high-speed blender is where it's at if you want really smooth hummus. I know it's more dishes, but it's so worth it. To serve the hummus, I usually sprinkle it with a little bit of smoked paprika and top it with some fresh parsley. I know these toppings are not traditional, but they do add a nice color. If you want to stay authentic with this recipe, drizzle the hummus with a little bit of olive oil and sprinkle it with a bit more cumin. All right, so we've got two types of hummus here. Here is the cooked sprouted hummus and here is the raw sprouted hummus. And we are eating it with the nut and seed crackers for which I already have a recipe. I will link it in the description box below. But in this video, we are just gonna talk about the hummus. Mm -hmm. Right off the bat, we should specify that Petra doesn't often make the raw sprouted hummus. So yes, I make the cooked one. This one's harder for me to comment on because I haven't, this is like my first time having it. So. Right off the bat though, very sharp, cheesy flavor as compared to the normal cooked hummus. This one has a sharper flavor mm -hmm. and then the aftertaste is more 
slightly bitter. As it's gone across your palate, you've already swallowed it. You'll find it's more bitter, slightly. And I think that bitterness is coming from, there's almost like an airy plant-like flavor. Yes, plant-like flavor. Like my word to describe the raw sprouted hummus is grassy. Like I find that it's really grassy, nutty. But don't, like, don't let that scare you away from the recipe. Don't be like, oh, it tastes like grass. No, that's not what we're saying. The taste very, is very similar on the front and like middle of your palate. But by the time you're swallowing it, there's like this residue, this aftertaste of this grassy bitterness. But that's not overpowering. It's not like, oh, it hits you in the face bitter. It's not like that. The raw hummus is more mild compared yeah, to mellow. this Mellow. So if you love the taste of hummus, try this because you're going to get the, a really sharp hummus and then um, even more taste afterwards. So give it a try. I really think it's worth it. I did not think that you would like it because you're so used to the cooked hummus. I get it. I didn't think I would like it either if I was honest, but it's not bad. Like it's not that much different. It's sharper with a bitter yeah. aftertaste. Yes. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.